what is up you guys and welcome back to another video man i'm super excited to be making this one because if you see right here this is this is not the tractor that we had in the last video so uh some things have went down and as far as going down i mean uh we, we got rid of the other tractor i know we've been trading left and right it is another case the case ih 856 xl we got rid of the 86 series and traded up to this 856 and yeah we now have a bucket a front loader all that great stuff. Now, I did have to throw in a thousand dollars on top of the trade, but hey, we, we got it done, and um, yeah, it took a lot of persuasion, but we got it. So, now we can put this to use for today's job. We're going to be picking up another bush hog, too. Uh, so, the guy that we traded the Cummins tractor to, I hit him up. I was like, hey, man, do you have any, you know, spare equipment laying around I could borrow for a job? And um, he was like, oh, yeah, you know, it was really cool about it. So, he's going to loan that to us. We got to go up there to the dealership to get it. And also, I want to mention that. We got this truck running. Um, we got a motor put in it. And as you can see, um, we went ahead and replaced the hood too. Uh, so the other hood was in a lot worse shape than I thought. It was it was pretty beat up. So we got a new hood and we got the bed kind of primer there looking pretty good. And it's currently raining all over me right now. But hey, that's okay. We still got to get this job done today. Um, so we got the exhaust on. And yeah, we kind of got some things put on the truck. You know, got the bed. Man, it's, it's coming together. We don't have any mirrors yet. We got a transfer tank put on as well. I had to get a matching one since I have one in the old f-350 so now we got one in our f-250 i'm gonna be putting some graps on this thing because uh look at this right here this is pretty soft i almost got stuck in it a while ago uh, but managed to kind of avoid it but anyway so what we're gonna do here we're gonna get hooked up to the trailer i'm gonna see what this thing's got in it for towing and yeah it's just got the old original 60 nothing special nothing done to it that one's got a little bit of stuff done to it so this one's uh completely stock so we're gonna see how it does hauling so we're gonna be hauling this the four-wheeler and the mower so i'm gonna get hooked up now and we're gonna give this thing a drive man first time on video what do you guys think so eventually we will have the truck haul one color this is just kind of what we're having to do right now to kind of piece parts together for this thing so if you look at the top right of our screen i just kind of wanted to do a quick recap of our money we currently have seventeen thousand five hundred seventy two dollars that is with trading you know and doing the thousand cash there to get the tractor 723 in the morning man i do have to say this truck is a uh, it's pulling like nothing's behind it. Now, I wanted to go into detail a little more about what we are doing today. So, we're going to head out to our left here in just a moment once we go pick up this bush hog. So, we are clearing some land for a local millionaire. Um, He bought a property and he's trying to get it all cleared because what it is is there's a barn at the very back of it. And he wants to get access to that. Now, he's in a legal battle with the previous owners of the land because they do not want him back there. And they currently own the back half of the property. He owns the front half of it. So he's going to get us to clear the front half. And then, yeah, they're going to kind of get everything situated. So we will be probably going back to this property at a later date to go ahead and clear the back half of it if he is able to get you know access to that part of the land he's thinking that there's something back there in that barn that they're not wanting to you know give away or let go and they're not saying what it is and nobody can go back there so i don't know it's gonna be kind of a little mystery for a little bit but we're just here to clear some land so that's what we're doing we actually put in a bid for the job for thirty five thousand dollars so thirty five thousand dollars is what we're going to be looking at once we get this land cleared man um so yeah, huge profits to be made off of this. So I guess this is kind of like a start to a business that I had no idea where we were going to be starting. It's kind of just randomly taken off, man. People keep, you know, hearing that I'm clearing land and keep getting in contact with me. But the equipment you see right here ain't going to cut it, man. Uh, th this stuff is not going to cut it. We're going to make it through this little land clearing job. And then that $35,000 is going to go to some more equipment in order to kind of progress this business a little further man so we're going to be sure to reinvest let's see we're going to be picking up this piece of equipment we're going to cruise right on through here and i absolutely love this truck i do have to say i think it pulls better than the f-350 now how is that how's the thing pull better you guys let me know down in the comments i mean look at this it's not even got much squat on it not as much as the f-350 would have I need to kind of look at the suspension setup on this truck to see what they did. I don't know if it's something to do with it being an old fire truck, but um, yeah, the thing pulls great. All right, guys, I just want to say we did manage to uh, get everything loaded up. Yeah, but if a cop happens to see us, we're uh, we're getting a really big ticket. Um, this is not not how you haul this stuff. This is what I need right here. So, man, we're we're gonna have to try to invest in stuff like this, and we don't have to be there till eight o'clock to start work. So it's currently seven thirty-four. Um, so we're doing pretty good. We got a about i don't know about a 15 minute drive so we'll make it there on time i don't think anybody's gonna be there 
honestly to bother us so we'll just be able to get things done pretty quick oh and not to mention we're hauling all this you guys and look we don't even have mirrors man don't even have any mirrors on the truck huh let's be careful on these train tracks but anyway i'll see you guys here in just a moment all right and just like that we've arrived and uh yeah man this is um yeah, this is scary this is intimidating not gonna lie a little bit of piece of equipment here to tackle this uh man what are we doing the things you have to do in order to make it somewhere Ooh. all right so i don't even know about pulling in there yet not -uh, that's not gonna work okay so we need to just kind of pull off hmm let's see here Ooh, i see a little road wait a minute all right, all right let's do this let's do this try to pull around right here right, let's not flip everything is kind of gonna get top heavy I guess I could have unloaded right there. You know what? I think we'll just kind of pull about right here. It's about the best we're going to do, honestly. Oh, man. We're about to get started tackling one of the biggest jobs I think we've ever... Um, Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely one of the biggest jobs that we've ever done. Kind of make our way through here. So, I want to kind of find the very end of all this. So, we know kind of roundabout where we do not need to go. See, that's the barn right there, man, that everybody's kind of had so much controversy over. So that's it. See, they come through and just kind of threw up this little fence right here because they didn't want anybody coming any further. No, you can't see anything, man. Get a little sneak peek, a little look in there. Yeah, there's no way. You can't see nothing. Look at all this brush, man. So thick. I'm going to get back to the truck. Stop wasting time here. We're just going to get started, man. I'm just going to start tackling this whole little area, and hopefully we'll have it done sometime today. It's probably going to take us like 13, 14 hours of constantly nonstop mowing in order to get this all cleared up. All right, you guys, here we go. Off on one of my crazy adventures. Look at this. Tractor struggling. Come on, buddy. Yeah, first time putting this thing to use. Oh, man, I don't even know where to start. Kind of get a better look here. We're just going to go for it. You guys wish me luck. Hopefully this doesn't take too long. All right, you guys, we managed to finish up the whole entire place. Uh, yeah, it actually wasn't as much as it looked like it was. It looked a lot worse, you know. It looked a lot more intimidating. But once I got to work, got to kind of seeing how smooth and how flat the ground was. Oh, man, we were just rolling with it. Um, It is now a little after 4 o'clock, 4.38 to be exact. And, yeah, man, we, we've been grinding. So the only thing left to do now is give the man the call, and he's going to send us over our $35,000 for completing this. That's actually uh, kind of wild to say. Um, but yeah, it was a little high of a bid, but uh, man, it was going to be a lot of work, and I knew it, so I was not cutting myself short. Um, but anyway, we're going to go ahead and get all this loaded back up. There's no way I made it up this, or down this while ago. Did I really? Wow. Okay. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is uh, steep. I've been having to be really careful while mowing it. But uh, look at this, man. We got the property taken care of. It looks amazing. Now we just got to wait to see if we're going to be doing the very back part. But for now, we're going to get headed out of here. I'm going to give him a call. I'm going to get that money. I'm going to leave the trailer behind for now. The other trailer, I'm going to come back and get it here after a while. Um, but for now, we're going to get headed to the house. I'm going to go ahead and give the phone call. And we'll wait for our money to come through. Before I can even get pulled off the man's road, we now have $35,000 added to our account that's actually insane uh bringing us to a total of fifty two thousand five hundred and seventy two dollars I, I can't believe it that was a uh, yeah that's wild it's wild see like that's what i'm saying this whole business adventure with the land clearing has just gone really good honestly to say the least now i called up the guy there at the dealership that owns the bush hog that we borrowed and i offered him 4500 for it you know and he accepted so he's ready to sell it he's had it for quite some time doesn't use it and figured if he can make forty five hundred dollars off of it he was doing pretty good. So I actually headed up there right now to take him the money. All right, so I got him paid there $4,500 for the bush hog. I wanted to go ahead and get the mower and the four-wheeler loaded up too while we were here and get them back to the house. I did run real quick and go get the trailer from the job. That way we'd have it in order to haul these back. Pulling back up to the house now after a long day's work. We did make a lot of money, so honestly, can't complain like at all. Let's go ahead and... uh go off-roading i guess with a trailer load full of stuff um i'm gonna get this pulled up right here i'll situate everything another time um i do need to go get me a pressure washer man so i can clean up these trucks so they're starting to get pretty filthy um i'm gonna park this one here for now 
cut it off and look at here you guys we put the truck to use it's making us money the tractor's making us money all this stuff is making us money man and we're kind of starting to get somewhere with a little over forty eight thousand dollars in the bank i'd say things are going pretty well we're going to keep making smart decisions and reinvesting that back into our business i really want to look into getting something to haul with what do you guys think you guys liking the f-250 here if you are be sure to let me know down in the comments below uh with all that being said you guys i'm gonna wrap up today's video i had a great time going to do that job we did great man made us a great profit um we will kind of be i guess starting us a little land clearing business here in Teton County. But anyway, you guys, like I said, I'm going to wrap up this video right here. Hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, guys.